Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be going through basically who is the best signing for us in terms of our defensive options. And for me, why we should be signing not only one defender, but two. I think we should be signing Chakra Mustafi from Valencia and Samuel Umtiti from Olympic Lyon. I think we should be signing both of those players. We should be going out, getting the deals done, paying the money and getting the players. Because quite frankly, I think those two are the very best of options for us out of a quite not quite a wide market to be honest there's not a lot of great center halves out there at the moment there's not a lot of great quality in the defensive market so you've got to really take what you can get and I think these two players are for me the best that we can get in terms of the best quality but also quite keenly what we can afford because it's come out today that apparently we knew this already but our budget is going to be around 60 million euros for this summer which for a big club in the modern football that's not an awful lot of money of course player sales will come into that as well whatever we can get of player sales will be added to that amount I would have thought but certainly 60 million is the base budget of what we've got and I think in that, you've got to be signing a centre-back. You've got to be signing possibly a left-back, a, a replacement for Jordi Alba um, in case, you know, of, of fatigue and etc. Uh, we need to get Denny Suarez back, possibly a replacement for Messi Suarez, Neymar, if you don't count Denny Suarez as that already, and possibly even a midfielder if you're really looking to go all out this summer. But certainly I think these two defenders can come in for not massive fees. I think both of them would command decent money from their clubs, but at the same time, we wouldn't be ripped off. And that's why I would certainly dis count the likes of Emmerich Laporte and also Marquinhos. I think any deal with PSG is always going to be very, very difficult. They've got so much money, which means that basically any negotiations with them are either need to be absolutely massive money or they simply won't happen. And what I don't want to happen is as we've seen for many, many summers in the past, that we're interested in a PSG player and we go round and round and round in circles all summer long before it's too late and then we panic by. It's happened in the past with Thiago Silva where we went around him, he was possibly interested, didn't end up coming. The same has happened in previous windows gone by with Marquinhos whereby he's very, very close to coming but then the owner gives him a bit more money and he's happy to stay put. So for that reason, I would leave those two out of it. Emmerich Laporte would cost a lot of money from Athletic Club as well. Not only his release clause is very, very high, but also then in Spain you've got to pay a tax on that, which, which increases the transfer even more. And not only that then, you've got also Manchester United and Manchester City possibly who are both interested in him. And you can imagine the kind of wages that those English clubs are going to be offering. So it would be a very, very difficult deal for us financially. So these two are for me the best option. And it's not a case of us going into the market and thinking, well, you know, who can we get for cheap and who can we get in and, and, and save the money? We don't really want to go down that road. We did that with Machu. We did that particularly with Thomas Vermaelen. We went and got somebody on the cheap trying to save some money and it's really backfired for us. What we need to do is go and buy somebody for quite a substantial fee, not get ripped off, not pay too much money, but at the same time pay enough money to get somebody of the highest quality. And for me, Mustafi in La Liga is exactly that. He's a player that has played around the leagues in his career. He's an experienced player, not only on the club scene, but also internationally. The one World Cup that he won with Germany, he was deployed right across the back line. And that's another thing. He's quite versatile. He could play if absolutely needed to. He could he could fill in at right back. He's a very, very good player with the ball as well, which leads him to believe that he could adapt to our style quite seamlessly. I think he's a player that's still got a lot of years left in him, only 24 years old. He's a player that's very, very experienced, but at the same time, he's not very old at all. So he's still got more that he can do. I'm sure that he can improve even more. But certainly this season, in this very struggling Valencia team, he's been outstanding. You know, you look at his appearances, he played nearly every single game this season for Valencia. He's a leader at the back, and that's exactly what we'd be good alongside Gerard Piquet. And I think he'd slot in really nicely there. He's six foot tall, so he's not on a mountain, but he's certainly a player with a decent amount of height. And to go with that then, he's quite uh, physical, he's quite mobile, he's quite athletic, and that's exactly everything you want in a centre-back. So certainly you could go to Valencia. I think they're prone to selling their best players, particularly now they've got no European football. It leaves players like Mustafi quite interested in leaving the club. I think certainly if he had the chance, he would join Barcelona, no question about that at all so I think you're talking about 30 35 possibly 40 million euros for Mustafi I would say about 35 30 I think we could get in for that I think Valencia would probably sell for that bearing in mind there are possible negotiations on the table for Alan Halilovic which doesn't really look like happening now particularly to Valencia but we don't really know what's going to happen with that 
Um, but I think we could get him, and I think he would certainly be a massive addition should he come in, and he wouldn't really raise the roof with the sort of transfer fee that we're paying. So he would be the first signing that I would make, and then I would go and sign a second centre-back, because... Quite frankly, you can never have enough depth. And I think when, like I say, there's not a massive load of centre-backs on the market now of good quality. So I think when the ones come about, you've got to snatch them up. And I think Mtiti is one of those players that, that needs to go to a big club to develop. And I think if he could come here and he could play a certain amount of games, he's quite versatile. Again, like Mustafi, he's played predominantly at centre-back for Lyon this season. But at the same time, if needed, he could play left-back, which is absolutely crucial for us. Because we could be signing a player here who can play centre-back, who's a centre-back option for us if we can sell for Marlon, Mathieu, who knows who we, who's going to go out of those two. But he can also play at left-back. That's huge. We need somebody to replace Jordi Alba. And I don't think it would be like Mathieu playing left-back. I think Umtiti is a lot more sort of... Um, uh, he suits the role a lot better. He's very, very quick. He's very, very quick for a centre-back. So he would certainly suit the left-back role seamlessly. Again, he's good on the ball. Leon play a, a decent style of football. So again, it wouldn't be all that hard to adapt to our style of play. And once again, a very young player... 22 years old, he's still got years left in him, he's still got that time to grow, that time to develop, and what better club to do it at than Barcelona. So, once again, he wouldn't command a massive transfer fee. There was a lot of talks um, in the week that we'd actually secured a deal for him for about 20 million euros, which again, isn't a lot of money, certainly for a player with potential, a player that's young. So I think him coming in would be very, very interesting. And the Leon um, sporting director actually confirmed that we had held talks with Leon over the transfer of Antiti, but he did say that nothing had been concluded yet and a deal is not as close as we were led to believe. So that deal isn't over the line yet, but there's certainly discussions there there's certainly negotiations happening whether we can agree a price whether we can agree a personal deal with him titty is still yet to be decided but he's certainly a player that could come in for me could make an impact on our squad as a whole we're going to be getting rid of adriana we're going to be possibly getting rid of thomas from marlon and even matthew possibly so it's going to be very very interesting to see exactly who we bring in and exactly how much money we're going to be spending but i just think these two you can spend a decent amount of money but we're not going to go through the roof with it we're still going to have some money left for the likes of denny suarez if we want to go and get another forward we can possibly do so with some player sales and the same for a midfielder so leave your thoughts down below guys on your opinions about these two players in particular how do you think they could impact our squad are these the type of players that we should be going for in the market because like I say there's not much to go on I think you, you look at the transfer today that could possibly be going through and that's Eric Eric Bally from Villarreal he's apparently going to Manchester United for around 32 million pounds which is about 40 million euros that's a lot of money to spend and I think if you've got to go and get a centre back for a decent price I would try and start the negotiation before the Euros. You don't really want anything to happen during the Euros to inflate the price. So hopefully we can start getting some business done now because we don't want to wait too long. We don't want to let this drag on into the summer. We don't want to be held ransom by clubs. When you know when a club knows you're desperate, they're always going to jack up the price. They're always going to try and get every single penny out of you. And the same for the player when negotiating a personal deal. So if we can start those negotiations now, it's good that we're starting negotiations with Antiti. We need to start speaking to Valencia about mistakes. We need to stop worrying about Marquinhos. We need to stop worrying about Emmerich Laporte. And we just need to go for the deals which suit us as a club and which suit us financially as well. I think what's interesting this summer is the way we're going about our business. I think we're, we're looking for the best deals financially, but I think we're also looking towards the future. We seem to be looking at the moment at young players, and that is really, really encouraging because I've been a bit worried over the last season or so, certainly now coming into this transfer window, that we keep targeting those players who are 28, 29, 30 years old. That's not really what we need right now. Our average age of the squad is very, very high for a top club. We need to start reducing that. We need to start bringing in some players with a view to the future not everything is about the present not everything is about right now we need to start bringing players in with a view to the future and bring in the best of the players with what we've got. So if we can bring somebody in like Titi and grow him and develop him, and the same with somebody like Mustafi, who again is still pretty young, that would be really, really productive. That would save us a lot of money. That would save us from going out and buying somebody every new, somebody new every two years because they're getting old. That's not what we want to do. We're going to sell some players. We're going to move some players on. We're going to save some money, a lot of money on our wage bill. Danny Alves leaving would be very, very interesting indeed. And another thing I will say, guys, is a lot of people are still worried about Mascherano leaving this summer I really don't believe that's going to happen I think we sold Danny Alves that was one that was possibly going to go through last summer but didn't this summer though 
we seem absolutely adamant that we're not going to be selling Mascherano. He's a key player for the squad and he'll stay here for at least, I think, another season. He's 31 now. He's still got a lot to give and I wouldn't at all be surprised to see him staying at Barca this summer and continuing with us because I think he's an important player and towards the end of the season he really did show how important he was and how much a leader he is in that team as well. So leave your thoughts, as I say, down below, guys. What do you think about these two players? Are there any other targets that you think we should be focusing on and are there any other players that you think possibly could be coming in this summer always looking forward to hearing your thoughts guys let me know in the comments down below as always it's been a pleasure to be here guys i will see you very very soon indeed but until then as always vesca el barca